When working with lasers, it is very important that you wear eye protection because otherwise you can permanently damage your eyes. But how do you know that you have the right laser safety glasses for the right job? Well, here are three things that you might want to take a look at. The first thing you want to take a look at is the laser's wavelength the laser power level and optical density, and the last thing is the visible light transmission, also known as VLT. So the first thing you need to know is the laser's wavelength. So laser, just like regular light, can come in a bunch of different colors, and it's measured in nanometers. Now it can either be visible or invisible, and it comes in these three regions. There is one ultraviolet, which is 100 to 400 nanometers, two visible, which is 440 to 750 nanometers, and three infrared, which is invisible and is from 750 nanometers to one millimeters. So how do you find your machine's wavelength? Well, um, you can check the machine and sometimes it'll have a plate on there with the numbers inscribed on it or you can check your manual and it should be in there as well. Now, when you're looking at your numbers, you wanna take a look at the minimum and the maximum number. Now, this can range from 288 nanometers all the way up to 10,600 nanometers. Next, you need to know the power of the laser. So the power of the laser will determine the optical density that is required. So this will block a certain amount of wavelengths from entering your eyes. Now this number you can also find either in the manual or on a plate mounted on the machine. So lastly, you need to find the VLT or the visible light transmission. So this basically decides how dark the lens is. So it decides how much light will still pass through and how much light you can still see. So the higher the VLT, the more light passes through. So you want lenses that can have the highest VLT possible because if the VLT is too low, a filter might block the beam that you need to see and the lenses are too dark so you can't see what you're doing. So get lenses that have the right VLT. Now glass lenses usually have a better VLT so you might want to take a look at glass lenses. So once you have all of these numbers you can put this information into our website. The search engine will then narrow down the choices and show you safety equipment that matches. If you're having trouble finding these numbers or filling out this information on our website, we would love to help. Just use the chat option on our website or give us a call.